Today's video is telling you how to get your little garden grid, get it set up, and, and prep your soil. The soil is the most important thing. We are fixing to set out a grid, show you how to grid your garden, where it's easy for you to keep everything straight and neat. Okay? Okay. Now, it doesn't matter what you use for your corner, for your string. That, that's one piece, and I even have a screwdriver I use for one corner. Just something to mark your spot. Now, you get square, if you have to have an old famous square, fine. We'll show that in a minute. You just pick your start point. That's a good place right there. Now I'm gonna keep it small and simple. A 10 foot square. foot side right there. One side. Okay, now here comes the fun part. I'm going to go 10 foot the other way. I'm going to do a 10 by 10. It could be 100 by 100. It don't matter. Same thing. Basically, you got a 10 foot line a 10 foot line. And here comes the fun part. If you, if you have a square, so if you have a square, you just want to get it roughly, put your 10 foot this way, and you tie into over the other. All right, that's 10 foot. Right here with my foot here, let me have it. Now each one of those lines are roughly 10 foot. Now the way you line them up perfect. Okay. Somebody needs to help me. Alright, you come across the corners. That's 13 foot. Okay, so now we're gonna go the other way. That, that, that squares it up. Alright, so that's right the purpose of going diagonal. Now see here? Tell you, pull your tape straight to you. It's straight by the side. Keep going. Keep going. I right, move that to the end of the tape. Now, I know that the camera can't see this, but to tell you how precise that he is, look what he showed me. I mean, exactly 12 inches or one foot. So, if you remember, that way he said it 14. This way originally was 13. And when he corrected it, it's self-corrected by one foot, 12 uh, yeah, inches. That's 14 foot. Yes, sir. 14 foot. Okay. All right. So we go back. We double check ourselves. 14 foot. Now here's the thing. I know it's first. Now. Let me slide it down. Okay. There's your 10 foot. A 10 foot line. 10 foot. 10 foot. 10 foot. Now square it up. Always measure from the same spot on one end, on the dead end. 14 foot 2 inches. Fourteen foot two inches, perfectly square. So there's your garden plot laid out square. Now, if this is confusing, ask any carpenter, any architect, any any uh, surveyor, and they'll do it quick. It's not complicated. It just takes a little thinking. This is like Starkey's form. 
except they was a quarter acre covered. So they had to go out there in, in the opening and lay out a grid. Now, if you're lucky enough to live in a subdivision who has a fence, all you gotta do is go to the fence and wherever you want your garden, seven foot, go down here 10 foot, come back out seven foot, and take it from there, you square. You're starting off square. It's really simple. Now notice he uses this as an anchor and then he takes it back down. This is like a little, just a backyard garden. Now, yeah, this would be a back or, backyard garden. Now here's your little rows laid out. Two foot centers, everything square, and you'll have a neat looking garden. So it's just that simple. All right guys, so what we need you to do now would be to visualize that we have already gone through step one, aerate your soil. Step two, which is feed your soil, that was worm castings and compost. And step three, which is put cover the soil. So you could have put hay, you could have put leaves, you could have put wood chips. So what we have here, everywhere you see grass, envision a covering on top of your your garden. All right, Papa. So basically where I'm at, you said this would be my walkway, correct? Yeah. So what does this string represent? That's the middle of the row. Okay, so in the middle of the row, what's going to go underneath here? What what we put here? It depends. Now if you go put squash, you don't need three foot rows instead of two because they get big. So what would you uh, plant in this garden? Okra, pick your okra, your tomato. Uh, personally, I would put okra and peas right beside it. The peas grow up your okra. Okra and peas. So instead of cutting bean, bean poles, use the okra. So you would use companion planting. That's right. In other words, I mean, if the soil and people, I don't care what you say, how you say, if the soil is not good, the plants are not going to grow. Uh, I've seen people say, they got a green thumb. They don't have a green thumb. They know how to do the soil. You, you can take off across the yard in semicircles, a, a pot here, a patch on. It don't matter. I just like it neat. That way when I cut grass at a lawnmower, I'm not trying to do tricks. <laughs> but you notice, I can cut grass without killing myself. You know? I just pick a spot that is basically not being used, like my bee place. It's all on one side, but uh, it, it's not it's not rocket science. Thank you for watching. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to Papa Sammy and Allie Bugs YouTube channel. And we just want to give you an opportunity. If you have never accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord or Savior, we would like to encourage you to repeat this prayer out loud. Dear Heavenly Father, I ask Jesus to come into my heart. I ask you to forgive me for my sins. Wash me in his blood. Rejuvenate me, Lord. Help me to make better choices and fill me with the Holy Spirit. I ask this in the name of Jesus. Amen. Have a blessed day and go out there, prosper, multiply.